Hello, how's it going guys? Thank you for watching. For this video, I wanted to do a reaction to my very first official YouTube video. It's been over two years since I first started doing videos for YouTube. Before that, I had some videos that I had worked on for the army or just on my own, just because I like video editing, but I didn't really think of myself as a YouTuber until this video. I haven't watched it in a while. Right now, it uh, has 102 views, which uh, isn't much. It's from August 15, 2017. And I actually wanted to do this in August for the two year anniversary, but I was in Japan and I, I didn't really have the equipment or to be honest, I haven't even figured out how I'm gonna put this below uh, right here, uh, but I'm sure I'll figure it out somehow. But I really wanted to kind of react to this video because the plan has changed so much since that video that I kind of wanted to use it as an update for what the current plan is. And what I mean by plan is, the overall arching plan for kind of my life, my family's life. There's a bunch of things that I remember saying in this video that uh, haven't really happened or I changed my mind about or there's just different things. So let's get into it. And remember, this is two years ago before I did any kind of videos where I talked to the camera. But anyways, let's, uh, let's react to this. I'm already kind of feeling a little cringy. Uh, so here we go. Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. In a second, I'm gonna tell you how you can win this Samsung uh, Gear VR, okay? Uh, so stick around for that. So first, right off the bat, uh, what I was trying to do there is basically get rid of all the extra stuff that I had. If you follow the vlogs after this video, you know, uh, see that I, I got rid of and donated so many, so many things. I was trying to minimize, uh, like I said, uh, I'm gonna talk about it in a second in the video, I think. I didn't realize that with 42 subscribers, nobody's really gonna watch this video and be like, oh, you know, within a week, try to uh, do the contest. But I'm probably gonna skip through that part uh, later on, but let's keep watching. Um, so thank you, this is my first official video blog. The reason I wanna start this channel is because I'm starting something new. It's a mobile photography studio. All right, so a couple of things. You notice that I cut a lot, and that's because uh, Right now, I still make tons of mistakes. Sometimes I have to say the same thing 10 times before I have it a nice. Uh, sometimes I have to say the same thing. <clears throat> sometimes I have to say the same thing about 10 times just so I can have a nice, clean version of it. And I didn't realize that back then, so I just kept talking, just ranting, and I had to basically cut all the ums and ahs. And uh, it was really like, uh, I remember when I was first editing, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I've been an instructor for 16 years and I say um and ah uh, and so it's just a lot, a lot too much. So I tried to cut it and I just realized that it was just distracting. But I think I got better after that. I realized uh, when I first uh, took it out on the road that I needed to educate people on what it was. Everybody kept thinking it was a food truck and lining up. I had to explain to them there's no food, I'm just taking pictures. All right, so. Uh, the food truck, the studio is not gone. I still have it. I'm trying to, I'm no longer gonna pursue that kind of venture uh, because as I was saying right there, everybody just keeps thinking it's a food truck and it was uh, as a new concept. I just found it difficult to explain to people what it was and it sounds like a good idea. Still to this day, it sounds like a good idea and then there's people doing it in LA and uh, New York. But then I realized that while I was trying to get it to grow, I was actually losing money because every day that I took it out on the road, that was a time that I wasn't shooting weddings and you know, I did make some money from it for like photo booths, for parties and things like that. It's not even close to what I make uh, shooting weddings here in Waikiki. And on top of that, I also wanted to be a minimalist and I felt like having something that big that required employees was gonna kind of slow me down. So I just decided to kind of nix it. And right now I'm either gonna sell it, so if you're interested, hit me up, uh, or I'm gonna convert it into RV and maybe rent it as uh, something that people can drive around Oahu uh, as a, like an Airbnb type of thing. I'm not sure, I haven't really looked at all the legal stuff for that, uh, but that's an idea that I'm kind of processing. I said, okay, the only way I can make this work is if I uh, put videos out there to explain to people what it is. And so I wanted to practice with this channel. The other reason is 
that uh, there's a couple of turning points coming up uh, in my life. So I've got 19 years of service. At 21 years, I might retire. After that retirement, I've decided that instead of waiting to 60 or 65, uh, I wanted to do a mini retirement with my family, uh, travel the world for a little bit. All right, so two years ago, I was almost 100% sure that I was gonna retire. It's so funny because in two days, it would have been the last day that I would have been in the military and I would have been uh, retired, but I actually re-enlisted a month ago. And uh, so I still got some time to go. It's in death, so I can basically retire anytime that I want now. So that was another reason I re-enlisted and not got out because once if I get out, it would be a lot harder to go back in. So even though two years ago I was 100%, right now I'm still on the fence, 50-50, whether I wanna retire this year, next year, the year after that. I really don't have a plan anymore uh, for the military. And I'm still working it out in my head, but I think the thing that kind of brought me back a little bit was that when I first joined the military, I was really high speed. So I went from a private to a sergeant really, really fast because I was motivated and I was doing what I was told and doing what my job was uh, entailed. But it just felt like when I got out and I, I went into the reserve, uh, which that's the majority of my service, uh, I just kind of went stagnant and I've been in the E6 ever since 2007 which uh, I didn't really want to go out that way so um, I don't know I just felt like I needed to be better before I ended it I didn't want to I didn't want to end it on a, on a dip I wanted to kind of be on a high point so I don't know if that makes sense like I said I'm still working it out in my head and uh, hopefully I can make some videos hopefully I can update you guys on uh, the process and like with the decisions that I'm gonna make uh, but yeah, right now as it stands, I'm going to stay in until indefinitely. Okay, so let's keep going. Maybe about a year. So another reason why I want to start this channel is uh, after listening to the four hour work week, uh, which also gave me the idea for the mini retirement, uh, I realized that, you know, 80% of the stuff in the house we use 20% of the time. And so I've decided to become a minimalist, one, to get rid of all the extra stuff that we barely ever use. Uh, and that's where the Samsung Gear VR comes from so it is used and also uh, because it'll make it easier to be able to travel uh, with minimal stuff so all right so uh, <laughs> again that's a lot of stuff so I do want to do a review on the four hour work week and uh, for those people that haven't really gone through it read it or even listened to it on uh, audible it really did change my life I mean I don't know if it was a midlife crisis though I'm not too sure why that book meant so much to me but it made me realize that I don't have to kind of give up I don't have to just accept that you know I'm married with the kids so therefore I can't travel I can't do it I just didn't like that idea and that that book really kind of opened up my eyes to the possibilities so the things that uh, really are still out there for me they can still bring excitement to my life uh, without feeling like I just gave up or I just became stagnant but also the minimalist part there's a lot of things that ha that I've done a lot of decisions that were scary at the time but uh, that I've made and have so far worked out. We did downsize, so as you can tell right there, we're in a different house. That was a two bedroom in Kaneo here, which is the other side of the island. Now we're in a one bedroom in Waikiki, which is where we work. So not only did it make commuting easier, uh, but it also uh, made it so that the money that we made from selling that two bedroom actually paid for this one completely, cash. It's leasehold, so after 18 years of uh, you know the lease, then we'll probably end up having to give it up since it's an, it's an old building. So I don't know if they're gonna renew the lease. If they do, then boom, you know, we get lucky and we can keep it, generating money with it. But if not, then I think we'll be able to get way more than what it's worth uh, in those 18 years. That really kind of helped a lot. So obviously the, the monthly bills have gone down because we downsized and because we don't have a mortgage anymore. Uh, it also allowed us to become debt free. And so even though I've been debt free a few times, uh, that one was a big one that was like uh, I became debt free while trying to minimize so it makes it a lot easier not to get back into debt compared to before the other times that I became debt free I was still trying to uh, keep up with the Joneses so, so I would come debt free and then credit cards would jump up again and I would have to come debt free again and so uh, it definitely 
made a huge difference in our life right now. To be honest, it doesn't really feel, it, I mean, it took a little while to get comfortable being in a smaller place, kind of being on top of each other. But because we've done road trips in a van and in a little tiny RV, then it makes it a lot easier. It makes it feel a lot bigger uh, than what it is. And the other thing on the minimalism, if you watch the videos, the vlogs right after this video, uh, I mean, we got rid of so much stuff, even till, uh, two months ago when we came back from Japan, I took that photo studio full of stuff that we weren't using that was just sitting there in storage for like a year and I just donated it. I mean, I took a picture of all the stuff that we donated just in that one time, not to mention all the times that we donated before uh, and it was just so much, it's crazy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in your house you probably don't need and you, you would feel a lot better if you got rid of them. Okay, so let's keep going. Well, I have two years uh, to practice, learn how to become free of having material things. And so, which brings me to what type of content um, I plan to put on here. I started the ketogenic diet and I convinced that this is the best diet uh, for me, especially being in the military, being overweight. And so, uh, by far the best diet and I've done a lot of diets. I've All right, so, uh, if you're new to my channel, then you probably don't realize that I have a lot of keto content. And uh, if you notice from that video to now, I haven't really lost a lot of weight, but that's just on me. I want to feel like I'm very disciplined. I want to feel like I'm stronger than the average person. But the, the more I think about the content that I want to put on this video, the more I realize that I'm very average. And I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I don't feel self-conscious about that uh, but I do get motivated to become better I've been thinking really really hard about what type of content that I want to keep putting on this channel I'm just not really good at one thing I'm average on most and above average on some other stuff the only thing that I really feel like I'm above average at is kind of analyzing situations and and uh, problem solving. The problem is when it comes to just action. I've made a lot of decisions since this video and I'm getting better at it. I still lack in uh, different areas. So from pretty much this point on, I'm gonna continue doing keto stuff and uh, you know, uh, product reviews and vlogs and all that. But I really, really wanna start focusing my content into more of a personal growth type channel and just as I mentioned right now I don't think I have tons of knowledge that I can kind of pass on to people but I feel like I can go through all these parts of my life whether it's my job which is photography or being in the military or being a, a dad or being a husband I can look at all these and identify where I need to work when I where I need to get better just by trial and error share that with you and maybe we can grow together with this channel maybe we can uh, help each other out and figure out the best way to become a better person how to deal with life better that's one of the reasons why I named my my uh, vlogs better every day if you notice uh, the every day is one word so it's not better every single day it's more about having the average day become better and better so you slowly become happier and happier with what you have without feeling like you need to chase what other people have whether because you see it on Instagram or Facebook or whatever so being happy with what you have an average life Okay, so uh, enough ranting, let me get back into this. This has been the easiest, less stressful diet that I've ever been in. A lot of the videos are gonna deal with uh, the kind of the go-to meals. Also, military info. Some of them are just gonna be stories, others are gonna be services that the military provides. Um, I also like apps and websites, so I wanna do some app and website reviews. And then uh, recently started investing, saving, kind of figuring out what the best uh, plan is to save as much money as I can so that when we do the mini retirement, we won't have to worry so much. I'm boring myself. And so I think that that shows improvement right there. I do see the difference between now where I'm emphasizing words and using my hands and I use my hands there a lot too, but obviously that shows growth and that's that you can just see in two years that a lot of things change. I have been putting up uh, some of the content that I was talking about. I've put up a lot of uh, keto recipes, go-to meals and all that. Uh, that's fine. So whenever I discover something new, I'm, I'll for sure share it. I did upload a lot of the finance stuff or at least the apps and the methods that I use. Those were really popular. So I plan to add more of those, especially because I mean, two years later, I'm debt free, no mortgage. Basically the only bills that we have are the ones that 
kind of um, maintain our everyday lifestyle. So I think some of that stuff is helping. I feel like I am improving on some of those, but even those are kind of broad subjects. So I'm gonna start just tightening it up a little bit more. A few apps, a few methods that I found that are pretty pretty good that helped me so far uh, to kind of line up all my, my little buckets of money. And then uh, once, hopefully, by the time we start our mini retirement, I can post uh, videos on the different places that we go to, and different ways to save money while traveling, things like that. Also, another one that I don't want to forget, I have two daughters, and both of them speak English, Spanish, and Japanese. And so I want to make videos on how we managed to do that. I think I, I have a lot of practical things that you can use to get them to, you know, speak back to you, learn a little bit uh, easier. Right here when we eat at dinner, I speak to my wife in English, she speaks to them in Japanese, and I speak uh, to them in Spanish, and so all three languages uh, are being spoken at the same time. Okay, so I haven't done a lot of language videos. It's really hard for me to kind of put it into words. I'm just not that articulate, so I'm still working on those. I think it's important for me to share that, uh, one, because a lot of people want to be able to do that, they just don't know how to do it, like we did when we, when we first started. Uh, we were actually scared that we're gonna mess them up if I'm speaking only Spanish to them and my wife's only speaking Japanese, what happens when they go to school, blah, blah, blah. And so we were kind of worried, but now I, we know that it works, now we're confident that it works. I just gotta find the right words to be able to share it with you guys. So those are definitely coming up. As far as the, uh, the places that we go visit, uh, to be 100% honest, I only started putting those videos up because I'm interested in traveling and I thought that I also need to keep uploading videos. But I think from this point on, I'm going to focus more on just how we travel with the kids, with finances and all that stuff and how we make it better and better. Not so much focus on where we go and like the little the activities that we do. I know that my Wednesday vlogs are probably not that interesting because they're, they're family videos, highlights of what we're doing. I want to keep them that way because they're for my daughters. I, I've made them so they remember where we go. But I do feel like I'm leaving something out, like I'm not giving you guys value. So I want to speak more on, um, on how we make that happen. And like I mentioned, whether it's the finances, uh, how to get cheap tickets, how to deal with the crying and the temper tantrums in the middle of the trip, all that stuff. I'm still working that angle. I'm just trying to get my video quality to go up a little bit. And I definitely know I need to put more effort into the storytelling of uh, the videos. So just give me some time and I promise that I'll get better and I'll share with you guys how uh, I got better and all that. Okay, so let's keep going. I think there's a lot of uh, people out there that, might, that find that interesting. So I wanna make some videos about that. So that's it, that's the kind of content that I wanna put on here. Once you start seeing some content from me, let me know on something you want me to expand on. So now what you've been waiting for so let me talk about the rules okay <clears throat> so the rules for all right so i'm gonna skip through that just because i remember in my head how <laughs> the process and it was just uh, agonizing so it's interesting that was only about three and a half minutes of actual content and then i went into the giveaway but uh regardless uh that was my first video i think i've changed since then i think i've gotten a little bit better uh, not as boring, not, not as monotone as I was. Definitely more comfortable looking at the camera, talking to basically to myself, and uh, hopefully I can continue to improve. And again, there's still a lot of changes happening. There's a lot of things that I want to happen. We're trying to go to Taiwan in March. We're going to California again for this uh, Christmas. Next summer, we might go to Canada. And so all those things on top of in between, trying to be better and trying to improve who I am and who my, who my family is and all, all of that, all of those things. I'm gonna start wrenching it in for you guys and hopefully we can all learn together, practice together and we'll see what happens. I don't know if two years from now I'm still gonna be doing this but hopefully uh, everything leads to a better place. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. Hit that bell so you get notified when new videos come up. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.